Oh hey there, it's been a while. Sorry for not finishing Vita and just disappearing mid-April without an explanation. Things got kind of hectic towards the end of the school year and I just had no motivation. So that's my weak excuse. Since I've last posted, some exciting things have happened. I graduated college. That's pretty big. Also, some real-life people who may or may not be watching this right now found my channel. It was not intentional on my part, but that happened. That's a story for another time. I have a lot of footage from the time period from mid-April till now. We'll see if I ever edit that. The thought is maybe to post more in June. I'm not gonna say a daily series because look how well that turned out last time, but more in June. I'm already beating my record for May, so there you go. But today I wanted to post something because I found some memories. Let me explain. So I'm in the process right now of officially moving out of my parents' house. I've been away at college but still had a lot of stuff at my parents' house, but now it's post-college and they're like, hey, you gotta deal with all this junk. So I've been going through a lot of stuff and I found these old notes that are shaped as origami cranes. Um, my senior year of high school I taught one of my best friends how to make origami cranes and then we got obsessed with the idea of passing notes that are shaped like cranes and I'm interested to see what these say. Oh, I think this is when I went on some college visits when I was trying to decide what college to go to and my friend wrote me a bunch of crane notes while I was gone and put them in my locker. So this one says, fifth period now, April 22nd, 2011. We just found out about the Vlogbrothers and Nerdfighteria, so that's why there's an anglerfish. Also, there's this like little toast with antenna. She would always draw these really cute cartoon things, so that's one of them. I think I did this wrong. My messy crane will remind you that I'm useless without you. Oh wow, this one's long. I don't remember the person she's referencing. Maybe it was our mutual friend who was acting weirdly, but here's her awkward turtle, and here's her angry fish, and wow. This on the back, this is from our English class senior year. Oh my god, I just realized I have to live through a whole other school day without you. How will I survive? That's how I feel. There might even be a rain cloud over my head. This is funny because I still consider her one of my best friends, but I haven't talked to her in almost the whole semester and I wasn't home over winter break very much, so we're not in touch that much, but she's one of those people that whenever I talk to her it just feels like nothing has changed. Here's the Toast King. He fears the future. I love getting letters and writing letters because then you have these to look back on and it's like a little time capsule. <laughs> Totes the goat eats oats on a boat and it's afloat. Rhymezone.com equals awesomeness. That's a Charlie McDonald reference. We were a little bit obsessed. We're such dorks but it's really funny. Oh wow. Without reading this whole thing, it's an awkward boy story from senior year of high school which made her feel like she wanted to be eaten by this T-Rex. And this is her. Wow, I haven't heard that name in a while. This is not one of the notes, but I had been to make a cootie catcher. A tiny one. I don't know why. We were some strange high schoolers. Anyway, I'm still here, still making videos in theory. And I will see you when I see you.